Hey everybody, Languages Lover here and welcome back to my channel. I finally decided to continue my SML book series. If you saw my, Arab, my using Arabic one, I thought I was actually done with reviewing SML books. But turns out I actually decided to get some more because I like SML. So one of the new acquisitions I got was this one, which is L'Anglais des Affaires or Business English. English being a language which, for which I don't have the basic book, all I had for SML English prior to this was this one, Perfectionnement Anglais or Using English. But I actually decided, why not get Business English? Because I really do want to get into business someday. Well, probably not business, but you know. For the job I would like to do, which is to have a job related to international relations, Having a really, 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 really good level of English would really help me. And as you probably know, English is not my mother tongue. But my English is already decent. It's decent enough. But I would just like to um, keep reading and eventually enrich my vocabulary. So that's one of the reasons why I bought this book. So let's get into it. But first, as always, quick reminder, hit the subscribe button, click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And let's get into it. So this one is actually really, really short. It's still thick, believe it or not, but it has only 50 chapters. Whereas the um, Using English had 70 lessons. And uh, yeah, like I said, I don't have the basic English, like American English or just English in general for British English but I should probably write them down here I should probably write down the amount of um, lessons that these two have I believe the American one has around like 110 or something but I'm still gonna write put them here and here just to let you know to make my video even more complete so yeah so basically this one the layout for this one is also different you got this, so you got translation for for that. But the average one had a review lesson at eh, eh, every uh, seventh lesson, but this one doesn't. It's just a continuation of the the previous dialogue. You do have some really uh, decent vocabulary, and you also have some graphic some graphs here. For example, United Chocolate Incorporated. If I remember correctly. This was the main company in this book. And you still have the, um, the little drawings here. Getting to know the company, which is really, really, really important. Before you go on an interview, you should really know what the company is about, what their goals are, and all that kind of stuff. Um, course description. This is just a course description. So it's not that much. But yeah, you do progress every lesson collection business I like that if we were to uh, take another lesson translation well this is just for that and here you have the dialogue in charge of exporting but yeah it's pretty good or to flip yeah you also have some exercises application vocabulary this is lesson or chapter 23 and you need to fill in the blanks with these um, with these words. You have ten blanks, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, one word per um, per line. And yeah, it's actually really decent. I like that. It's got some facts and application. And you also have a quick notebook here, which is kind of cool. But yeah, really useful to anyone who wants to perfect their English, whether it be your pronunciation or your, um, while well, your enrich your vocabulary, get some knowledge, or just learning how to go into business, actually, because there is a, a lot of useful hints, like get to know the company, take notes, and all that, all this kind of useful information. So I really recommend it to anyone who wants to go into business or perfect their English. So... That's the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, that would be super awesome, amazing, and I will see you guys later. Bye.